Richard. Oh, right, Ian. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did, well. This, this wasn't what I phoned in about, but what? I did happen to uh, look up a swap shop on the net. Be with you in a second, Barry. Right, here. Good lad. I did. Yeah, I did happen to look look up a swap swap shop on the net, and it's everywhere. I look, it's with an A. Of course, it's with an A. To make, just to continue your thread of having uh, a whole hour of swaps. Do you remember swap shop, Barry? Very, very clearly. Excellent. Even I remember it, and I'm 32. Well, I'm 34. I was in the audience of Swap Shop once. They, for the last series, they had an audience, and I was there. There's about me and, like, 15 other kids, and I'd love to get a copy of it. The Carpenters were on there. The, this is the bill, right? The car- Listen to this, Barry. Yes. The Carpenters. Yes. Sarah Brightman. Radio. Um, uh, Bernie Clifton and his comedy ostrich. Oh. <laughs> they lovely. And, uh, guess, uh, do you know what? I've just realised who else was on there. I've never made this connection. Sue Pollard. No, Barry Court. Whoa. He was on there. Well, isn't that funny how it all links up? Court did do a number of children's programs. Yeah, he's very good. Yeah, Court with Children was one of his. I don't, I don't remember that one. No. Oh, was that the one where was that the one where he was in court? Yeah, we, yeah, that was something. And he else. sentenced children to um, hard labour. Yeah, that's it. I didn't like that. No, I thought, I thought it was a bit dark. It, it was a bit dark, but this is before the days when political correctness went mad. We're going to hell in a handcart. Of course we are. Anyway, Barry, it's not your turn. Sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. Richard. Right. Well, actually, now Barry is there. Yes. yes. I mean, the, the one I've actually talked, well, I've actually phoned in about. Go on. I think uh, I might, well, I mean, I, obviously I wanted Ian's input on it, but now that you're there, right. you, would, you know, I think you're an expert, judging by no, you know, what I've heard from you over the last year and a half. Yeah, right. Uh, I so mean, you get, get to the point, Richard. Yeah, come on. Barry's not long for this yeah, world. Yeah, there's a very long you, you preamble. I mean, I was very surprised just before the court passed new, uh, travel. Yeah, are you getting there or...? <laughs> when you... you dis- Nearly there. This topic, I couldn't believe Get it. Get it out. Did you hear me then? I am going to have my dinner soon, so chop chop. <laughs> well, I mean, Chris put out the topic... Which yes. Chris, which, uh, which Ian dismissed right. of uh, Love at First Sight. Love at First Sight. Uh, we're there, yes. <laughs> Oh, I, was, I was wondering what, the take, what, what you, what the take of, you know, what the take was, uh, was intended, what, what you were talking about, anyway, what, so, what Chris what, meant what by Love at First Sight. speak English, man? <laughs> what do you want to know? I'm just now I'm speaking to the legend, Barry. Yes, what do you want to know? Well, what, what I mean, what, what is Love at First Sight? Oh, know. thank you. Well, look, um, what was your name again? Uh, Richard. Uh, Richard, look, Richard, the thing is, uh, you know, well... Love comes in many guises, my friend. Very many guises. My wife is hideous. And when I first met her, no, of course I didn't fancy it. No, no one in their right mind would. Love? God, I couldn't even bear to look at her. <laughs> but, you know, over a period of time, you get used to someone and you begin to realise, I ain't going to get nothing better, and I've settled for her. That's a sort of love in a way, isn't it? But love at first sight exists, so Barry, you you have to recognise. Uh, uh, Chris doesn't uh, uh, doesn't think it exists, but uh, it does exist. Well, you're very wet behind the ears. <laughs> well, I mean, what what I've read in books and websites yeah. over the years. Oh yeah. Is that there are two kinds of people? Right. There's, there's men people. and women. Yes, we know that. <laughs> that yeah, we've, I'm aware of that. Well, some people they they always fall in love really dramatically to start with, like yes. you've love at first sight. Uh. Yeah. And then they get disappointed after a while yeah. and then they sort of break up. And those sort of people are the sort of people who, uh. you know, have a good new new partner every six months. Yeah, there's there's so but that's put it about a bit is another word. <laughs> that, that. That's that, that's the that's the uh, uh that's the unfortunate well, way it, of being there are, you say you go on websites. If you want that <laughs> sort of thing there are a great many websites that cater for that need, Richard. Well, but, but uh, let me finish what I was going to say. Oh, oh, oh the boots on the other foot now. Go on, the, yeah. Uh, if you're like Chris, sounds like he's actually the the ideal type of person. Yes. <laughs> what? Are you a gay man? Because <laughs> if you if you're if you're uh, answer the question, if Richard. If you don't believe in love at first sight, yes. Then you will fall in. You are sort of you're the sort of person what? who gradually uh, yes. falls into a relationship, and those are the sort of relationships that that that, that those are, that that last. What? Yes. You that. Does Ian believe that, and does Barry believe that? Never get a job as a wreck on (laughs) turf. Are you saying he's no Peter Eustonoff? You're no Peter Eustonoff. You are? I just said that for you. You're Peter Adinoff. You see... uh, What? I I don't get it. No. But you're supposed to... (laughs) Has he gone? I'm still there. Oh, Oh, God. But, uh, 
Are you a romantic man? Uh, perhaps that's the problem. Probably I'm too romantic. Oh, well, you know, there's not enough romance in this world. How, what, how does the romance manifest itself, itself in your life, Barry? Well, basically, it was just after the war. There was a lot oh, of God. misery about... Yes. No, you didn't have any eggs or bananas. We had, I didn't see bananas until 1978. <laughs> Why? My wife used to eat them all from Watford Market before I had a chance to see them. I fell on my eyes. I saw them. My eyes nearly popped out of my head. <laughs> you saw a banana? Yeah, 1978. We we just watched Starsky and Hutch, and I was waiting for Match of the Day to come on. And, 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 and Margaret was chomping away on something, and I said, what was that? She says, it's a banana, Barry. And I said, well, you don't have to let it slide down in one go. Try it. <laughs> Try masticating, you know. And that was it, really. But I made that up. Did you guess? <laughs> well, Richard, thanks for your call. Thanks, Richard. How about, have you, no, uh, no. you've answered the question yet? No, that's it. No, no. <laughs> Bye. Barry, what do you want? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was something about your dingle dang. I, I can't remember now. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah. No, no. That's it. Right, it's June in Bedfont. <laughs>